Hi everybody, welcome back to another crafting class with me, Aviva, your art director from the Ed Asner Family Center. Today we're going to be doing something really fun and helping you really gain your skills of like really how to make cool designs within your acrylic paintings. So we are going to be working a lot with textures today and when you see a painting that is not just flat on the canvas it kind of pops out to you gives you a little bit of a 3d effect just like how we did with our nail and string project we did a few weekends ago um but today we're going to be working with being able to make a lot of textures with paint without using up all of our acrylic paint, which can get kind of expensive. So we're gonna be using other materials to get that thick, beautiful kind of texture that we're looking for. So the way that we're going to be achieving that is by using my friend Mod Podge here. And Mod Podge is a kind of glue-like substance that is great for um, layering uh, newspaper and creating sculptures. Um, but today we are going to be using it as a base to make that thick kind of um, textured uh, kind of feeling for our painting. <laughs> Losing my words today. Um, but we're going to be needing a few things for this project. Um, we are going to be trying to make a beautiful scenic view today. Maybe a little mountain view. So we're going to be needing a few different things to kind of... Uh, map that out on our canvas. So for our first material, a canvas, I'm using a smaller one today as an example. Always some paper towels nearby. You're gonna use some Mod Podge or you can make your own Mod Podge at home with cornstarch and water. And I think it's just a one-to-one -one ratio for that. So half cornstarch, half water, and you will make the same kind of Mod Podgey kind of consistency. You can also just do it with regular old glue. We are going to be needing tape today. I'm using painter's tape because it makes it really easy to peel off, but since we're using a canvas that's already a really sturdy surface, we you could also use scotch tape or what other tape, any other tape you have lying around, packing tape, just nothing like duct tape that might leave a little bit of a sticky residue afterwards. We don't want it to be kind of um, making marks on our canvas. And then finally, or almost finally, we're gonna be needing some saran wrap. And you can also get out your acrylic paints for when we're done making our textures and we can add that beautiful layer of color afterwards. Okay, so let's get into it and we can start with our mountain making. Okay, so we are gonna make sure that we have a nice clean hard surface that's covered by something because we might get a little bit of overflow when we start using our Mod Podge. So let's clear our space because we're not going to be painting quite yet. And what we're going to be doing is getting a pencil out and kind of mapping out the scene that we want to make. So what we're going to be doing is starting off with a basic um, like kind of shadow of some mountains. So we're gonna be making some points, some triangles today. I like starting from one side and then just working my way over. Just nice V shapes coming up to our painting. Okay. Just some nice Vs. These are gonna be our mountains. And they look like nothing much right now, but once we add our paint and our texture to the sky, it'll look so much different and beautiful. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing, now that we have our sketch out, we're going to be grabbing our tape and just taping off these lines that we just made. And these, this tape that we're using right now will make those nice clean lines that we're looking for, trying to achieve. So this part can be uh, kind of just like, this can be uh, fast forwarded, this part here. Thank you. 
Alrighty, so now that I have my mountains mapped out, you just want to make sure that your lines are the way that you'd want the tips of your mountains to look like. So don't worry about how clean it looks on the bottom. These are really just going to be a guide for where our Mod Podge is going to stop in the sky. Because our Mod Podge today is kind of going to give a rippled effect in our sky, going to give it some like cloud-like texture. And you could also do the opposite and do it um, Mod Podge on the bottom if you want more of a bumpy mountain feel and a nice smooth sky. But we are going to just stick to a nice textured sky today. So now that we have our tape down, we can start by putting our Mod Podge in. So here I have a special paintbrush to spread this around. It's kind of got thicker brussels, brush, br bristles, <laughs> thicker bristles than your regular old paintbrush. See, these are like hair-like and these ones are like made of plastic. So cleaning is a lot easier when you're using something sticky like Mod Podge. But if all you had around your house is a regular paintbrush, just make sure to wash them pretty well so you can use them again. So I'm taking my Mod Podge and just kind of doing a nice little pour over the top. This is the main reason why you want something nice and sturdy behind you. And I'm just going to spread this around. You really want to make sure that you get a nice thick layer all over where you want that textured look. Okay, so we're spreading this Mod Podge around. It's so satisfying. Just getting all those corners. And it's okay if you go over the tape because when we pull it off later, it'll still make a nice smooth edge. Okay, we've got all those little bits and pieces, all the little corners. And now we can put our Mod Podge to the side because we will not be needing it anymore. We've got it all down. So now you want to take your Saran Wrap or your Cling Wrap. I think they both go by that same name. And you want to like to uh, take a like a decent size piece off. It really depends how big your canvas is. You kind of want to measure it to your canvas and you want to make sure that it has enough space that it is kind of going off of your canvas. So just a little bit bigger than your canvas, you're going to be cutting a piece. All right, so you take your cling and you are just going to be laying it on top of your Mod Podge. You can see it kind of sticks pretty quickly. And now is the fun part. So what we're going to be doing is you're gonna just use your finger here. Don't worry, it's not sticky or gluey. Nice protection little seal that we've got going on. And we're just gonna run our finger around it and make some nice ripples and also find a spot where you want your sun to be because we are going to let this dry as it is with the cling wrap on it and then once it dries you can pull your cling wrap off and it will make this beautiful textured like um, base that you can paint on top of. So we're going to find a spot where we can put our sun and I think I'm gonna put mine about like right here in between these two mountains. Maybe it's like sunrise. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take two fingers and put them side by side here. And I just do a little twist motion. And this makes a beautiful like ray-like texture here when, it, when you start to twirl your fingers. Yeah, so when it dries and you pull it off, it'll have these beautiful little lines. And when you paint over it, it'll really look like beautiful sun rays. And you can do this with any other type of texture too. You can move it around and make some swirls for some clouds. Or if you're making your mountains textured, you can make some bumps, some lumps, make it look rocky. So many different ways that you can use this method. So there's our sun and it looks pretty good. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave this outside um, in a sunny spot to dry for, I think it's, it usually takes about um, like an hour to dry because it is very thick. It takes a little bit longer than your regular old Elmer's glue. And so we're gonna leave this to dry and we'll come back when it's all nice and dry so we can do our painting. 
So now it's been a few, it's been an hour or so, and you can see that the sun did make a little bit of um, a darker shade of the, it kind of like, the sun was so hot today that it did kind of make some type of like darker marks, but we're painting over it, so it doesn't really matter. But you can see that we've got that nice lined sunray texture there, and it'll be really helpful once we put our paint down. So, what we're going to do is whenever you're painting a picture, you want to make sure that you start with the background. Because when you start with the background, the sky or the walls of the room or whatever you're painting, you want to make sure you do the background because whatever you put in front of it will give it another nice texture of like kind of giving it that 3D kind of um, look and giving it a little bit more depth. So let's start painting here, and I'm going to make a sunset here. And so we're going to be using a lot of yellows and oranges and blues. And then we'll come back together to do our mountains. Now we have our basic sunset. It's kind of a little abstract. It looks a little bit like a firework, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of liking it. So you can see once I move it around, there's some really nice texture going on. I really did layer the paint a little bit more too to get a little bit extra, but I like it. It gives it a little bit more movement to our painting. And so now we could just add some little happy mountains as our fellow artist Bob Ross would say and that's gonna be about it so I'm gonna for mountains what we can do is really get a scraper going if you have a butter knife that works too if you don't have a scraper but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make one solid color for our mountains and then come in with our scraper after for a little bit more texture So now that we've got a nice dark base, I used some purple because it pur uh, mountains really do look a very nice shade of purple in like the dark afternoon, kind of like twilight. All right, so now that we've got our base, we're going to be taking our spatula and we are going to be using, I think, a mixture of like a little bit of a lighter purple so we can really see it and we also want to add a little bit of orange to show that the sun is kind of beaming and hitting those mountain peaks okay so we're gonna just do that on only half of the mountain here so we're gonna take a little bit of white let's get a color going here and I'm it's great to have a nice palette next to you but I'm just gonna use my little table protector a little bit of orange Okay, that's going to be my light color from the um, sunset, my like sun hitting the mountains. And then I need a slightly lighter purple. I'm adding a little bit of black too, a little bit of white. Okay, and a little bit of blue maybe as well. Okay. Kind of a grayish but it's nice so we're going to be taking our scraper now and just scooping that up and just kind of giving it a nice scrape effect coming down on the mountain so i'm just taking my scraper and bringing that color down giving it a nice textured look you really want to do it on just a little bit of the mountain. You don't want to do the whole thing. So I'm just going right in the middle halfway and bringing it down. Same thing on the last mountain. Halfway on the mountain, bring it down. 
And you can add some more peaks, maybe halfway. Another one down here, maybe. Pretty. Okay. So then finally, a little bit of orange for the peaks. Right, so I don't really want to go overboard with this. I just want to make sure that the peaks are getting this nice kind of rocky look. But there we have it, our little mountain view, nice and beautifully textured. We got some mountains. I wish I was sitting right at the top drinking my coffee. Nice way to end the day. But that is going to be it for our little textured art project, mod podge kind of situation. I hope you had fun painting with me today. And I hope to see you next Saturday to make some more crafts. If you have any ideas for any crafts that you'd like to see and do together with me, I'd love to see them. Um, so uh, email me at aviva at edasnerfamilycenter.org and let me know. Also show me any of your art that you made that you're really proud of because I'd love to see it, okay? All right, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.